Any feelings about what's going on in Israel at the moment? Oh, is it the one where they drive, like, is it the Pakistan thing, too? Is it that? Because I see people driving around saying, like, free Pakistan. Free Pakistan? Yeah, like I don't... Palestine and Israel. I think it's Palestine. Yeah. Sorry, Palestine. my bad. I was at UCLA, the crown jewel of the UC system, which a day earlier had been a hotbed of protest. Since terrorists attacked Israel on October 7th and murdered 1,300 people, progressives across the globe have gathered for Hamas pep rallies. Glory to the martyrs! The resistance came in electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. It sure was an exciting week. And Friday was the so-called Global Day of Jihad, a loose translation of this former Hamas leader's call for an international day of anti-Israel protest. I wondered what the UCLA kids would be up to. I'm not seeing much jihad. With no obvious revolutionaries to be found, I interviewed whoever would talk to me about their thoughts on Israel. I've seen like a lot of celebrities posting and in favor of Israel and not necessarily having an educated view on it, so they're um, not necessarily focusing on the fact that Palestine is being um, targeted. They're having a lot of like terrorist attacks towards them. And what terrorist attacks have uh, on on Palestinians have been particularly disturbing to you? I don't think I have specifics on anything. All I know is that I'm all for free Palestine. So I've heard a little bit. I mean, I know that they're an official declaration of war. Do, do you have a sense of like what was leading up to the declaration of war? I know, uh, the, I know I mean, the Hamas are involved. I know there's something going on right now. Were you around at all yesterday for the brouhaha? For Giannis. Giannis? Who's Giannis? Basketball player. What happened with him? He's just super famous and he showed up at campus and no everyone, was, everyone was freaking out. That's all we were talking about. Obviously what happened in... Uh, sorry, this is a lot Israel. Of Israel. What happened in Israel is a horrible thing. Um, nobody should be the victim of a terrorist attack. We can't really just pick a side. There's a lot of gray areas. Um, well, if you had to pick one. See, it's not, life's not black and white, though. There should be no hate towards nobody um, except Hamas. But you can't go blaming one side or the other, and no side is right or wrong. There's a lot of gray area in this. Is um, one side ever right or wrong in anything? Um, LeBron was a 2016 champion uh, versus Steph Curry, and he was right. He won. Israel, Palestine. Go. Israel. Why Israel? Uh, just, I mean, Israel's had it rough. Uh, Israel. Oh. Are you Jewish, if I can ask? No. Ah. Well, that's an extra point. Non-Jew pro-Israel counts double. That is horrible. Someone is waiting for their food. This is the first act of jihad I've seen all day. All right, who else can we talk to? This is not like an equal fight. Israel is one of the most powerful military powers in the world. On the flip side, you have Palestine, who doesn't even have an official military. They don't have like a solid government. Hamas is the closest thing that they have, and we obviously know that they're like really problematic. Education is really important. I think people just like don't know the entire story of it. You have to understand like Palestine has been going through similar like terrorist attacks from Israel. Like, Are there yeah. any particular ones that you're thinking of? I mean, not really, just like seeing the news. You can like see like drone strikes and like air raids and everything like that. They, they both want the extermination of the other person. Do you think that when the land was partitioned in like the 40s, that the Arab side should have accepted what, what happened then? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know enough about the like details. I would assume that if it was a fair agreement, they would have gone with it. Um, so the only reasonable assumption is it probably just wasn't fair. I don't, I don't, I don't think the side picking is the right like state of consciousness. Give us something where you're on very clearly on one side. <laughs> um, I mean, I try not to do that. Give us one opinion you have. We need to get over using violence to deal with stuff. I think you'd like to, like to live in a, a better world. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to live in a better world and... Um, than, uh, the, than the one that exists. I, I actually don't know enough. I'm a little nervous of you know geopolitical questions because I'm like I don't want to say the wrong thing. I know? would never agree to be interviewed on camera about this <laughs> kind of stuff. You're nuts. <laughs>